Christo-inclusive particularism. In many ways, this view is very similar to Christo-specific particularism, with the exception that it places a stronger emphasis on the universal intent of grace, and perhaps a slightly less, though one might prefer to say modified, emphasis on the primacy of grace in human participation. According to such a view, all those who are saved are saved by virtue of being united to Christ, but does not necessarily require naming the name of Christ in an explicit way in this life. In practice, this may play itself out in the life of someone who, through no fault of their own, though perhaps through the fault of the church to be faithful, has never heard the name of Christ, and so is unable to come to explicit Christian faith, but has lived according to some kind of inner law, perhaps like that Paul speaks of in Romans 2.14, come to realize at the moment of their death that the source of that conscience was Christ all along. In some ways, this is representative of some of John Wesley's writings, who, in spite of his strong, distinctly Christian convictions, could not bring himself to believe that the God of grace and mercy would condemn people because of the failure of the church. There are those, however, who would consider this to be simply to open the door to universalism, as discussed below.